We're back, baby, we're back. We're back for the first episode of February. Here we go, about to watch some mini ramp skating. Just like the last episode ended, this episode is picking up that very night. So after Leo got a super angry at the line spot in the last episode, we're back at the Ruka ramp. I mentioned this before, Leo really wanted to learn how to skate mini ramp better and you can tell, he's having a fun time. Cool to look back at the footage and see how much fun they had skating together. Good job, guys. putting his uh, hog on the line a lot during the session. Not sure why, but. Switch tray. Huh? Switch tray. Dude, you wanna, you wanna... Oh, poppy that was? <laughs> Leo says, do you see how poppy that was? You know, I looked at filming the mini ramp like this, like a practice for me to learn how to film transition. I knew that I could either try and follow them on a board or I could literally like run around with them on the flat bottom, follow wherever their line was. And for something like this, it worked out perfectly. I would just run around with them, following them on the flat bottom. Now we're out of the Rook ramp and we're in San Bernardino at the square rail. I remember this spot being a bust. That's why we're lighting it up, I assume. And in my logbook, the footage from that spot says practicing different camera angles, but they're all the same angle. So I don't know what I was practicing other than rolling long lens. back at this grind tranny spot in San Bernardino as well. And I think what happened is he needed to shoot a photo of it. And now we're at this bump to wall in, in LA and we got this chump ass dude right here who called the cops on us skating across the street from his house. I mean, this guy, all this guy's doing is hanging out in front of his house. Like, what, like what's he doing? Like, we're, we're being a lot more productive than he's being. And since there's a sidewalk, like, where, where could we go? The skate park, and that's it probably, right? If someone does complain, then we have to leave. I was not afraid back then to question authority because I really thought, like I've mentioned before, it was us against the world. Most of the time, people didn't like what we were doing, whether it's police or a business owner. Looking back, I wish I wasn't like that, but I was young and dumb. You can hear Danny like, can we get one more? I don't know. How about like one more try? Let's see what happens. 
these cops don't know what to do. I mean, you're asking all these questions, I could get into it, but then once I get into it. The cop says, you're asking all these questions, I can get into it, but basically he called us and you're bothering him and you gotta go. So I'm just like, asking if you guys can go somewhere else. Okay, and that's Basically. clear. Danny shakes his hand. This troll little guy's like, come on man, they're skating over here. Like what, like, let me get a handshake. Now he's talking to Stefan Atardo and he's like, dude, I see you skating over there. Like what man, look at my hand. Look at my hand, shake my hand. You better shake my hand. Fucking chump for calling the police on us for skating across the road. All right, now we're at 7th Street. I would like to think that I tried a lot on new angles. Like this first angle of filming from behind Fisheye. It might not seem like anything, but when the skater was warming up, I was trying to spend my time warming up on figuring out how I wanted to shoot it. And that's usually when I would kind of practice a new angle or, oh, I've never seen the spot filmed this way. I'm gonna try to film it this way. And that's what this is. I was trying to film him Fisheye from above, from behind the fence. Most of the time I got scared to film it that way. Looking back, wish I could have uh, told myself something different and not worried about what other people were thinking. So this session's interesting because this session lasts an entire tape. And I did some math. If each try is like seven seconds or so, kind of general, 520 tries or something, because it's literally a 60 minute tape is spent here at 7th Street. Every single try, every single time I hit record, I was trying to film the trick perfectly as if they were making the trick next try. It's kind of crazy to think that for 500 tries, you're like, you're on it. You're focusing super hard and you're thinking that I have to film this thing perfectly and I have to film it really well. Try this trick, back to 50 cab out. Was landed earlier in the day and then I think Danny took us into the evening trying that trick, but he was trying. So now it's nighttime and we're at, it's called Jaquan then. I always thought of it as beneficial for some reason. The Guy Mariano gap to ledge. That's the way I refer to it. I'm not sure what Shadow was gonna try here, but Leo is, I think, treating the spot as a warm up for the Wilshire Rail. <laughs> and here we are at the Wilshire Rail, which is really close to there. I'm sure everybody knows you didn't get many tries at Wilshire. You could pay off the security. They never took any money from me, even though I tried to pay them off. I've never got one to actually take money from me. In the last episode, we saw Leo cable up 5 that other rail. God damn it! And I think he was just using that as like a practice for this rail because within a few days we were here. Clearly that's a better kickflip 5 out than the other one. He did it pretty quick. Yeah. Did it fisheye first, and then you could see me here like practicing, panning in and out of the wall. Then he kicked the five was at first try. First try long lens. Any try could be the last try. Well, sure, you think you're gonna get kicked out really quickly. So he tried a few more. So I don't think he liked the one he did. And I think within like three or four tries, he, you know, we're getting kicked out. You can see me here like kind of hunting for him and I see security. Oh, and he makes that one. And I, d I didn't know what to do. I didn't know to like show security. And that woman gives us a cool like, you gotta go. And with that, Leo kickflip 5 0 grinds, Wilshire 10. Security says we gotta go. That'll be it for this episode. See y'all on the second episode of February.
Looking at my log books, I see that Leo is skating some big rails. So I'll see y'all then. How's your arm? Good. I don't know, dude. It seems cool. Let's get this line over with.